after my father passed, I was 20 years old. And I thought about this, like, how could my, how come, how could I lose my father? I need him more now. And, and this is maybe even for, I want to just say to teenagers or adults, if you have your parents, don't take it for granted. Like this, this is a gift. And I would, I would do anything to, to have that back. But the Lord even showed me, even in the loss, that what your parents invested in you is bigger than what you think. Mm -hmm. And the legacy that's living beyond their years is greater than what they even imagined it would be, but they prayed and it's happening right now. It's happening. It's the fulfillment of their prayers I'm living in right now. So those things happen and, and um, I, we lived through so many changes. We moved to Dallas and we moved right during, right before the 2008 financial crisis, the housing crisis. Mm -hmm. and, and I was a real estate investor. Okay. I, I, was, I was young and trying to, I wanted to be rich, right? <laughs> you know, I wanted to be caught in sheets. Yeah. <laughs> I some, you know, stay up late at night and watch those infomercials. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do it. So my wife and I, we went after it and uh, we lost everything, you mm -hmm. know, wow. in that crisis. And I, we lost far less than maybe so many other people. Yeah, but, but we, everything's everything. But yeah. we lost everything right. we had, yes. you know, we lost all of that. Mm -hmm. And so many things, I mean, I can go on and on, but I, re I remember during that time we had a small baby. He was just born and I remember holding him and we, we didn't have any money, mm -hmm. we didn't have any health insurance and, and God called us. I, I could have gone to work back as in electrical design and engineering, but God called me out of that mm -hmm. and called me into ministry. So now we've lost everything, all this is going on and my child's having seizures in my arms. Oh, oh my goodness. And we don't have any way to take care of him. Mm -hmm. And talk about a feeling as a man, as a husband, of feeling like a failure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I look back on those years, my, my son is now 17. In just a few days, he'll mm -hmm. tell you he's 17 right now. <laughs> but seeing him as a full, like almost a full grown man, almost taller than me, and thinking about where we came from wow. and not knowing what was gonna happen, but God provided. It's those moments where I really learn to worship because it's easy to worship when everything's great, but you learn the value of who God is when you're in the fire yeah. and the blessing of a fire, the yeah. blessing of a trial, that God would trust us with mm. those storms so that he would bring out of us the best that, that he always knew that he put in us.